Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. My name is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. This is part of the Old North End tour I used to offer on behalf of Preservation Burlington. I offered it once a year, one single day in July, as part of the Old North End Ramble, a day to celebrate all of the interesting things and people of the Old North End. Alrighty, so in front of me here is the uh, Sustainability Ca Academy at Lawrence Barnes. This is not the original school, nor is it where Lawrence Barnes lived. The original school, I, I believe, uh, it was definitely demolished, but I believe it burned. You know, it, uh, it definitely had a foreboding look about it. Though uh, the turn of the last century, I think you get the idea. Schoolhouses could be sort of foreboding places to look at. But for those of us who are local historians, really interesting places to see. So, but this building, I don't see a cornerstone. But I am betting it was built at some point in the uh, 60s. That's my guess. Now, 19, so, well, the person on my tour said 1957. She found a cornerstone. Oh, the cornerstone that's right in front of me. Of course it is. <laughs> let's see if I can, let's see if I can take a picture of that for you or, or zoom in for you. If you can follow me on Instagram, I am uh, traveling for history, hashtag Traveling for History um, 101. All right, so back again with you. Um, I'm Patricia and I am traveling for history. So, uh, anyway, I am, uh, we are staying in front of the Lawrence Barnes School, also known as, as actually new, known as the Sustainability Academy, but. Um, Lawrence Barnes, who was this guy? Who would get his name on a school building? I know, you're, wonder you're wondering about that. The uh, age-old answer to that is typically they own the land underneath. That's usually how someone gets their name on a building, on a street, on a bridge, on something. That's how. But uh, I actually don't know if he owned the land here. What I can tell you is that he was a lumber baron. <laughs> He also served in, this, in the Vermont State Legislature. So I did mention in another Old North End tour video about the, the native timber up until 1850 and then, they, and then it was just down to stumps. Well, lumber barons needed l lumber. And uh, Lawrence Barnes, as a state legislature, uh, state, uh, state uh, legislator rather, found the loophole in the law and he was able to have lumber or, or Vermont was able to have lumber imported from Canada with no tariffs or taxes attached a savings of uh, was it six to ten percent if you have the historic neighborhood book written by David Blow and published by the Chittenden County Historical Society they actually have facts and figures in that book about this I've done, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the uh, in volume one, there are three volumes in that set. It's, it is uh, out of print, but you know, go to your library. So, um, so he was a lumber baron and uh, he made a fortune, a fortune off of that. That's why who you call a baron, of course. But, uh, but his name is on this building. And quite frankly, I do find it interesting that he found a loophole in the law, which allowed the lumber industry to come roaring back to life. In fact, you may not know that Burlington, Vermont was the third largest in, uh, exporter of lumber in the U.S. for a short period of time. Chicago was on the list and Burlington, Vermont was third. And you can read about that also in this historic guide to Burlington Neighborhoods. Same book. I might be in the same chapter. But um, anyway. So that's about all I have to say about Lawrence Barnes. And we're going to continue on with uh, the tour, which means you don't have to walk, but we do. So, <laughs> I'll see you soon. Alrighty, up next on the tour is this house that's in uh, encased in red in front of us. Last time I saw it, it was all white and looking sad and unhappy. So I'm thrilled to see that it's being kept up. This house at 150 North Street uh, appears to be one of the oldest on the street. The height of the entrance 
indicates that the grade of the street was lowered. An 1853 map of Burlington shows only a few houses on this block. Open fields extended to the north and south, although the major streets were laid out. And we'll be right back. Alrighty, well, this ends the uh, Old North End tour of this section, and uh, I'll catch you later. Have a great day, and uh, Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and follow me on Instagram. I'm at hashtag travelingforhistory101. Thanks so much. Bye.